Yes, we, I really, I mean, that's all I care about in life is I believe that love is the answer. I believe that love, life, we can make that choice at every moment. And if we simply listen, we're going to be guided toward that. And I would love my work to be a reminder of that. Hello, Valerie. Hi, hi, Petra. Really nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Oh, and it looks so beautiful where you are. All your Thank love you. <laughs> Thank you so much trying to make it happen. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, so where are you based exactly? I am in Los Angeles. Okay. Yes. Have you always lived there? No, I'm actually French. I was born in Cannes. I grew up in Nice. And then I went to study and work in Paris. And uh, Paris and after that Marseille as well. Marseille and Aix-en-Provence. And uh, I came here when I was probably 25. And so it's been a long time, over 30 years. Wow. And I absolutely love LA. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is such a great place. Really? Um, I, I do, you don't miss Europe? I do miss Europe in the sense that I miss my family, I miss my friends, you know, I miss um, Paris and France with the, you know, all the culture we have, the food, you know, the, the joie de vivre, all of that I miss. But I love LA. I am absolutely in love with this city. It's such a cutting edge city. There's so much. You can really literally invent tomorrow here. And this is what we're doing. And I love it. So it's uh, it's very dynamic and it's uh, it's a place that will really create things that will impart the rest of the world. So I love it. Mm. Yeah. Is, is that very important for you um, to be happy where you are? Do you, do you think that uh, inspires you to create specific works? It does. You know, I really do believe that uh, being here, uh, it's uh, LA, is, um, it's really... Uh, open with so many diverse people from coming from all the horizon on earth. Um, so that diversity is really important, you know, because you really have a sense of the world this way. And also there's a, there's a big movement of mindfulness and spirituality. And this is something that is really big for me. So I feel really at peace here and I feel like, oh my God, I am totally my element. I'm able to talk about spiritual, mm -hmm. I'm able to talk about my inner self, you know, and I believe those are important things. And I, my work is about reflecting that, you know, I, I, all my painting is about reflecting my own inner world and my spirit and what I believe is important into life. So I feel being here with all those energy supportive to be who I am. Mm. That's very interesting that you say that um, because I think you as a visual artist, um, you know, you communicate also through your art. So it, it must be something that comes from you that you want to, to sort of uh, voice, you know, in a way. Absolutely. I mean, I paint to express what is with me. I'm not painting to paint picture or I mean yes it has to be pretty and colorful and joyful but it, it's not the technicality that I'm after what I'm after is painting what is in my soul what is inside my heart what really makes me tick and also what I understand about life um, I, 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 I really believe we are being guided by our spirit or whatever else you want to be calling it you can call it God you can call it the universe I'm not attached to any denomination I'm just spiritual and I believe we have that guidance within and we have access to it. So, and I believe we have access to it through meditation and through listening within. So my work is about putting myself into a meditative state and really listening to my soul and what my soul wants to express. And either it comes through as a vision and then I try to paint it and I have a few examples I can talk about or it come in, so I will say mostly channeling or it come as, I know my subconscious to drive me, I pull paint into it, and I'll show you some example of that. And then there's a story that come into it. And that story has a meaning and an expression. And some of it is also some work that will uplift, you know, some, I had a lot of health issues in my life and I went through really a lot. And through my art, I discover, you know, truths within myself, truths that I need to hear and in order to grow and in order to become who I am. And I think through my painting, I can give that to another person. 
they can they can have a sense of encouragement they can have a sense of oh my god i can i understand through this painting the meaning and i'm able to maybe feel that in my heart and regain courage for example and trust and let go so that's what i try to express well this is uh, it's beautiful how you explain it but um have you always been spiritual as a as a young person so what do you think is uh, I since I was four year old, I say I want to paint, I want to do color, and I want to talk to people. That's all I was interested in, and this is actually what I end up doing. This is this is weird, you know. So, and I was was counseling people, helping people, doing reading for people, helping them, you know, understand certain thing, and I continue to do so. I don't do it professionally; I do it on the side. Um, but I am open, my door is open. And when the universe is sending me somebody that needs helps, I will help them. And so I do that. And then I express that through my work and my painting. And do you think in, in time, I mean, when, when you started painting, or, or, or let me ask you this, uh, when did you really started painting? So that say professionally painting. So I, uh, I'm self-taught, you know, and I, 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 I always painted some a little girl. I was doing color, always a crayon in my hand. But when I was 18, I wanted to go to the Beaux-Arts and I got picked by my right hand by B the day before attending the Beaux-Arts in, in France. And I was like, oh my God. And that totally derailed what I was going to do. And I ended up doing communication and marketing and you name it. And that led me to come here, okay? This bee changed my life, but I'm here and I met my husband 30 years ago and we have created a beautiful family. We have gorgeous two children. We have a wonderful company as well. And, uh, and I have, you know, I really believe that led me to where I was supposed to be. Um, and I have uh, painted since almost every day, you know, since, uh, since I've been here. So you you didn't start. So you only started painting when you got to LA. No, I was painting when I was in France. I was still okay. painting, painting my entire life. But I started to become. I, I I went back to UCLA when I came here. I studied computer graphic, graphic design. I got hired by Disney and then DreamWorks. So I was doing some digital work and painting in that capacity, and then I also painting on the side. And I painted since I've been here. Um, I've had a, my small business growing slowly, mostly, you know, selling to friends and family. And now I want to take it a little bit farther, but I've been doing that this entire time. But now can you see in your work, um, uh, you know, how you changed over the years? And yes. I can see, I can see that I'm evolving and I'm evolving into really, um, trying to to go within more much more consciously i have evolved into instead of just doing oh a pretty picture and trying to just do something that was pretty I, it's really an intention now to be able to to go deeper into my work by allowing my subconscious to come through by really working with that meditate, meditation to be able to express those type of um feeling and spirituality that i feel within so in that regard, uh, it is evolving. It is also evolving in a sense that I'm going from more traditional to integration with digital. Um, and like, for example, um, I can show you something like I have okay. done this thing here. So that was a commission. Okay, so I work on this commission. And now um, this was done for somebody that was doing Reiki, wanted to express, you know, the light rippling from the painting and being able to be sent to other people. She loved water, wanting to express all that. And what I've done is um, I am now integrating this into your live painting. Let me show you that, if I can get to it. One second, I need to be able to do that here. So what I've done is it's almost like that. You have something and it's hard to enter this. Okay, so here, that painting got digitalized and then I animated it. And then I posted that and I actually have a wonderful, um, beautiful young spirit, 15 year old woman that is in London and she fell in love with that and she actually composed original music and recorded it. it wow. Cool. 
And I'm absolutely fascinated with how this is evolving because this is becoming a world on itself where you have a painting, very an emotion, but then you also have an animation that allow you to understand where the energy is coming from, what I really tried to express, yeah. and then you have music to support it. So when you listen to that, you are really part of that painting. So I'm going to play it to you for a minute. Oh, wow. But I love this painting. So it's it's on the loop and it's going to be looping, but it's going to keep you in this. So it's a support for meditation. So this is how I view it. It's like you can you can play that song and you can look at it and dream with the painting and feel the energy and receive the healing energy through it as well. That's amazing. Do you know this so is, I'm, yeah, this is so wonderful. Thank you. So I'm I'm yes. I'm so excited by that work. I don't know yet where it's going to take me, but yeah. I'm going with it because I, I I just love being able to have the digital with the uh, with the traditional and to be able to really express the world that come from within, and to have somebody being able to access it and understand it and mostly feel it. Yeah, and feel it through the music, through the movement, through the colors, and it feels like it's a it's own little bubble that you can access and that will be a support for your dream that can take you within yourself. So it's like a little pod that allows you to go and travel within your own self. This is amazing because, you know, not only now is it uh, interpretation from a musician then that, that interpreted it and, and set the music to it, but now other people will also interpret the music and the painting. So it is this... A wonderful collaboration. That is uh, amazing how that uh, that worked, you know, in, in for you. I love it. I it's yeah. it's so super. I mean, it's synchronicity that that led to that. Yeah. But it's it's wonderful. It's wonderful to have other beings that are on the other part of the world that are responding to the work to the work that I'm doing and being able to bring their own version of it. And to create something that is really, truly super cool, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, Dominic Ferris told me, he said, oh, you have to speak to her. She's it's amazing and her work is amazing. So, yeah, you you are reaching people. <laughs> I mean, he's also in the UK. <laughs> you are reaching people all over. But now... um. Tell me a little bit from, about your work. Can you explain some of your, because I love the colors that you have there. Um, so, yes, I can show you a couple examples. So, yeah. for example, so the way I work, there's two versions, okay? One is I have a vision and I want to express that vision, okay? So, for example, here you see this one on the back. So, yeah. this is Mary. So, Mary is I had a vision and I want to express what I felt from this. So, I have had some very serious health issues. And um, prior to prior to get sick, I was doing a meditation, and actually the spirit of Mary came to me. Okay, and it was overly powerful and full of emotion and love. And what was really strange to me is she looked at me, and only said three words: "You are learning." And while she did that, she put her hand here toward my chin. It turned out that all my health issues started from an infection from here, which led to leading me to an amazing journey, which was really difficult. So I really felt that this thing was real. And I was really felt like I got full warm to what I was going through. And I gave a sense to what I was going through in terms of growth and learning within. And I wanted to express it. So I painted this. Beautiful. So this is based on a recollection so it's not super close to what I've seen, but it's an interpretation of what I felt within myself. And when I look at this painting, I feel her spirit. I really feel that connection within myself. And it's a reminder. Yeah, well, the colors tell that, you know, because it's very feminine colors also um, that, that I feel when I look at that. Yeah. And then I have, like, for example, here you see this small one, the yellow one that is there. Yeah. Okay. So this is called True North. So this one was based on an understanding. So I went through, um, at the end of my journey, I also went through breast cancer. So I had a pretty extensive breast, breast cancer treatment. And I'm not in full remission, but it was actually a very challenging thing to go through. 
And through that, um, this is the end of, it's toward the end of my treatment. I finally realized that I'm really guided and I'm guided by my spirit. So I express this painting as surrendering and trusting and trusting that despite the wave of life, you have to let go, you have to surrender and you have to trust that there is a greater force that is carrying you through. So this is the kind of thing that I try to express through that work. And I'm hoping that when a person can see this work, they are reminded that you can do it. You can trust, you can surrender, you're protected. It's difficult, but you will make it through. So it's kind of a testimony to that and a reminder. That's wonderful. You, you're giving me goosebumps. <laughs> it's beautiful, yeah, really. I, I, <clears throat> I love how you express yourself through these paintings like this, you know, that you really, the, these are then true paintings, the true emotions that you went through that you then um, communicate in that way. Yes, we, I really, I mean, that's all I care about in life is I believe that love is the answer. I believe that love, light, we can make that choice at every moment. And if we simply listen, we're going to be guided toward that. And I would love my work to be a reminder of that to people and a support for them to be able to connect within, to have that meditative aspect so they can let go of the world a little bit and turn here and realize we can make it better. Everything is going to be okay. We can heal. We can choose to embrace love. We can choose to be supportive with each other. That is truly the intent of what I'm trying to do. When you, when you paint like that, where do you, where do you get the inspiration for the colors? Because I find your colors really uh, interesting. I I don't know. I mean, they just come. This is I don't pre plan. None of my work is pre planned at all. You know, I mean, literally, I I. I do a meditation, I'm centered. I go into my, my, my place and uh, my studio that is here and I put a canvas down on the floor and I start to pour painting and I let the painting and what color goes with it. And it's like a journey, literally. Like I can show you here, um, yeah. this one. So like, for example, this is, this is the first one. Like, well, this is something that I would literally put on the floor and drop all those paint and move it and blow on it and just, I don't know, I just let it happen. And from there, I look at it and I sit with it and I really have to sit with it for quite a while. And then I start to see, okay, there's a story. And in here, for example, there's a woman here with her hair and oops, and there is a, and there's a guy here that showed up. You see? Yeah. And he actually has a little fish in his, uh, in his um, uh, sleeve right there. And there's a tree here, but those are barely formed, okay? So then what I do, I either work directly on the canvas or I can even take it on my computer and digitally start to express some story with it. So this one, I choose the second option and I went, I went on the computer, find some few aspects, reprinted it, and then I repainted wow. this entire thing. Oh. So it's there. My and now you can see, it is a man wow. here. And he has yeah. it in his in his, shoe, in his uh, sleeve. And here you have a woman here with her hair floating. And you see all this blue in between? The blue symbolized for me the ocean. And then we have a tree right here. And it feels like it's a tree of life for me. And that made me feel, oh my God, this is my story with my husband. I come from France. I cross an ocean to find him. And here we are life with the tree of life. And he's a love fish. He has a beautiful aquarium. So I read it this way. Wow. So I'm seeing that entire story through that. I love it. I love it. And the colors, again, the colors are so beautiful. It's <laughs> wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is really lovely. I like, I like that painting very much. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. And, then, and then I have, I have another one I can show you. Uh, to, show, to make you understand on the spiritual what I'm talking about. So yeah. there's all sorts of things that show up through my work that I don't plan, okay? So on this painting, for example, I had no idea what I was going to be painting, literally zero idea. And I said to be putting some color and then I'm starting to be drawing one tree. And then there is this uh, uh, little butterfly here, magical butterfly that started to happen. So I started to redraw him and do all of those things. 
And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to put water. I'm just going with it. And I'm not even thinking through that process. And then I turn my painting. And then I'm realizing, oh, my God, you see this? This yes. is the spirit of that tree. This is the spiritual component of that tree. This is what's happening in our world. We have the world here, but we have all the reflection that is underneath. So my subconscious somewhere was able to express that tree underneath. What is my spirit underneath? What is that world that is hiding that we don't know how to access? So this is a reminder for me that we have that world. It's hiding, it's within ourselves, but we can accept it when we let go. We can accept it when we dream. Well, we can access it when we don't try to control, when we just let it happen. So that's the reminder. Oh, wow. Really, you give me goosebumps. This is so beautiful. It, you know, that 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 it, it happened, um, co well, not coincidentally, there's no such thing as a coincidence, but, but you know that it happened like that, that it evolved like that for you. Thank you. Yes. And, you know, I will say you, t you, you talk in terms of evolution and it's truly a term of evolution. I guess the evolution has to be within myself before it can be into my canvas. And it has been years of working within myself, working with my spirit, learning how to listen to it, attune into it, because it is not something easy. Our mind wants to fabric certain things, but we have a voice be behind that we can listen to and it takes some time. It's a very subtle thing, okay? It's a subtle thing that we need to allow the space, the support for that to come through. So I have evolved over the years because I'm allowing that voice to come stronger and it's coming easier and easier through my work to be able to channel it, to express it. And I just allow it to happen. But this sense of allowing took a long time to come to. Because we have to let go of judgment. We have to let go of control. We have to allow it to be not perfect. We have to know it's like an embryonic thing that if we try to make it too much of what we want it to be making it, it's not going to be what it's going to be. If we allow it to express by itself with love and guidance, then we appear into life. And that's my goal is trying to make it up, to make it appear. Beautiful how you express this and and um you know and it's very interesting that you say that because uh in in the past i've also been talking to musicians and and um you know different artists and especially young musicians have said to me that um you know in in, in this in this line of saying that there is a lot of pressure on them you know there's a lot of pressure on them to be so perfect and um, and and to do you know and and it's almost I think it is a type of control you know it is a type of control that you have to be a certain way and do it a certain way to be able to make a living or to be able to be this artist. Um, did you find that? Did you also go through that process before you came here? Oh, yeah. you Absolutely. Absolutely, especially being an artist, you know, I mean, it's just you. People want you to paint pretty and they want you to have nice shape, well done. Well, you know, my work is relatively pretty, but it's there's so many more artists that have so much prettier than what I'm painting. And it's going to have a beautiful, gorgeous line, well done. And it, at the beginning, I had this sense, oh my God, I need to be better. But I, I could not do anything else than painting what I am, yeah. <laughs> you know? And, and, and then I started to realize, oh my God, but wait, there is true beauty into what I'm painting. And I seem to see it. As I, I felt it with my heart. I felt it with my emotion. And I mean, I literally sit with my world and I'm like, oh my God, this is great. And I'm trying to push toward that greatness. I'm trying to push toward what I'm feeling that makes me feel good. So I have finally let go of judgment. I have let go of trying to make it perfect. And I am just trying to focus on let it happen, let it be, let it become alive and try to translate what I feel here. And it's mostly feeling. And I guess you keep asking, how do you find your color? Color are emotion for me. So I'm allowing those color to express those feelings that I feel within. I'm allowing the form to express what I feel within as well. And my focus is to try to be as true as I can to what I feel and that voice that is within that wants to express itself. Amazing. But now in a, in a city like Los Angeles, for example, 
Um, do you find that that people that want to uh, be certain artists, you know, that that people have sort of, um, you know, you have to make a living and you have to to be this specific. So do you do you find it there um, that it is, you know, that, that type of pressure? So I am very lucky because we are very successful with my company, with my husband. So I do not have to be making a living through my painting. Oh, okay which really free me in some aspect. And I'm not attached into, I have to make these amounts of sale every month. This is not where I'm coming from. I am selling. I'm selling through my website. I'm selling to friends and family, to other people that discover my work. But what I found is the people that discover my work are really tuned to their own spiritual self as well. I'm able to resonate with the feeling that I'm offering and through the color and the emotion that come through that. So my work is really a heart connection. And I have people that fall in love because they have the heart connection. And you represent something to them and then they want to hold that. So I define success for me in terms of connecting from the heart. So, uh, but but it is because you you um, have this very uh, calm energy and you have this uh, secureness. You know, it, it, I don't know if it's the right English word, but you feel secure in yourself. And then this is what your paintings then also say, and this is probably why it attracts then also the people who who feel it or who can sense it. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. But and now, I, yeah. this is I also have taken that road to go doing it on my own, doing it with my website. You know, I'm not so much looking into getting into gallery. I will, you know, this is this is something that will be important at some point. But what is more important is what what am I doing on my own? How am I expressing? And I believe my authenticity is important. And being able to give something that people can feel the energy is important. And people will respond and are responding. Yeah. And I think now also, um, or let me ask you if you think so, that in this time of the pandemic, that people also think differently about things and that, that we all have come a little bit, become a little bit more spiritual because we think about, you know, we have time to think and so on. Can you, do you find that as well? I do. And actually, it is very interesting because I went to really an extensive health journey that was very difficult that I spent many years. And through those very difficult health issue, you know, I have learned resiliency. I've learned to trust. I have learned to accept when it's difficult. I have learned when we don't know the end, you know, we don't know the end in sight. We don't know if we are ever going to be well again. And I found that what we're going through through the pandemic is very similar to what I've learned. So, and I feel this is as in humanity, we have to progress and we have to accept that not everything is okay all the time. Not everything is easy all the time, but how do we choose to embrace it? How do we choose to respond to it? What is our response is what is important. The only thing we have control is that. And can we make a better choice? Can we decide to say, okay, I don't see how it's going to be evolving, but I'm gonna trust that it's going to be okay. I'm going to trust that despite all those up and down and that difficulty at the end, I will be able to be well with the people I love and express love and receive love. Yes, we can do that. And we can help each other to go through that. So I feel like the pandemic is teaching people on a more massive scale to do what a sickness will actually teach a single person and to find resiliency and love within and realizing that everything that is here impact our reality and we can make our reality much better by the choice we're making within that is so true yeah so it's it's uh, i also think it's on a big scale that we all have the same type of crisis at the moment yes. but crisis make you evolve crisis yeah. are different but they make you stronger with your soul they make you stronger with your capacity to love yeah, that's that's true. But now I'm looking at your wonderful work, and now I'm thinking to myself: uh, Do you ever do something and then just it doesn't work? It, uh, do you have failures in your paintings? Uh, if I can yes, ask that, way. I do. And usually, my work starts with something that is not always great, you know. But what I do 
it's not like, oh, I paint and it becomes gorgeous in five seconds. No, 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 no. Sometimes it does, but sometimes you really don't. And through my process, it's a process of maturation. So I let the painting flow. I let it, I let it be. And then I, I look at it. I really feel what it is. I let the, the thing going through it. And then I will take a picture of my painting and I'm going to put it on the computer. And digitally, I'm going to be like, oh, this is what I want to express. So then I repaint on the computer what I want to do. And then I'm going back to my painting and try to paint. I am not good at reproducing anything. I'm only good at making it you know, evolve. So from there, whatever I'm trying to do is going to evolve into something else. And then the paintings that you build. So my process is a step-by-step -step process of drawing, putting it down, seeing, let it maturing, trying to do it again and, and evolve. So over time, my, my painting becomes what it is. So mm -hmm. do I really feel like I fail? Many, many process, many times during the process, I feel like I'm failing. Do I feel like I have a painting that I fail at the end of the process? No. Really? Because my goal, no, because my goal is to make it evolve to where I can see honestly in my heart, oh, I love my work. Mm. And I'm there, I know I'm done. But until I'm I'm there, I'm not done. Okay. So I have painting that I've had for years that is not yet there, but I have not done anything else. They're there, they sit in my studio and they're gonna evolve. They will have their own evolution. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some can take years, some take months, but I don't feel like anything is a failure. I just feel it's just me transforming the work until it's done, until it's where it needs to be. Well, it's it's very interesting that you say that because I I actually feel um, with photography if I uh, did a photo shoot I cannot look at the pictures the same day or even I, I wait two days before I look at it because it's it's almost as if my brain then look at it in a different way and and I can totally understand what you're saying here that you you know that you see things in a different way. Um, in in days or in months and and now you're saying some of it in years and it's i can tell you it is, yeah it is yeah. phenomenal with the years one because i mean really with your own evolution sometime where i will have discarded something i'm like oh not so great and i'm going back to it two or three years later and i'm looking at him like oh my god this this is good actually and then yeah. i'm able to do it differently i'm going back to you know i'm letting go of I'm really going back to the essence of it and seeing it differently. And I love that. I love having that vision evolving with the work. Yeah. yeah. This is an amazing life lesson, you know. You know? This is uh, fantastic. Yeah. I'm so glad you say that. That it's really what we're creating is we shouldn't look back and, and well, we should look back and see the, the, um, the beauty of it rather than thinking it was a failure. I don't think there is any failure. Yeah. I really oh, don't Valerie, you're so inspiring. <laughs> really. <laughs> it's just a process and it's just a vision yeah. of what we look at and how we look at things. You know? Yeah. Now, and if you get commissions, is it difficult for you to, or if, when you get a commission, is it still your work? It's still what you yes, do. Yes, so I, I love, I, I, too, I love, love working on commission. This is something that I really enjoy. Um, this is because it's, there's a channel aspect into my commission. So what I do is I try to sit with a person and try to understand what they are and what they want to express and what is they like and dislike. And from there, I let it incubate. And oh. the incubation is a big thing. I let it come part of me and feel it in my heart. And from there, after that, I do, I love to work on my tablet, actually. Uh, it's an easy process for me. So I will usually on my tablet something first that will have the feeling that I'm trying to express and then from there I am going to like for example in this one right there yeah uh, I am going back and I said to work with watercolor you know oh, wow and then I will do a, a quick sketch on watercolor and from yeah. there I reach out to the person and say okay this is what I'm feeling what I'm trying to express this are three different versions that I gave to that person um, and I'm trying to get the buying. What do you like best? How is there one that connect more with you? So you're going to say, oh, I want this. The one we end up was having a darker sky. So we went with that. 
Um, and then I will um, I will paint the painting. I will send some picture, but along the way, not the entire time, like at the beginning, the middle, and the end. And if there's something that is very important for them to be shifting or changing, I will try to respect that and work with the person because I feel it's a dual creation. It has to be their art piece. And, um, and then we get to a place where I am satisfied with it and they have to be satisfied with it. Okay. But uh, yeah, but, but because you you have to, because you're the artist, you have to also be happy with what you... What I have to be and, happy with it. Like I cannot let go of something if I don't feel good about it. This is not possible. But I also want to involve the person who's going to have the art so that they can feel good about it. Yeah. Even pink versus an orange, well, this is, or if they don't like the color purple or brown, okay, I need to know those things because those are emotions they're going to carry within their yeah. house all the time. So I want to give them something that's going to be an agreement between us where they can feel good. Well, I've, I've just now, uh, you know, sporadically saw that painting, but it's a very positive painting. It, it really feels very uplifting. And I can imagine if you look at it every day, it will really lift your spirit. It's beautiful. It's actually, actually funny because uh, my my husband and my two my two children. I have two grown up, you know, seventeen and nineteen year old boys. And um, when we move out, I have a bunch of my work on my on my wall, and there is a really specific feeling into my house. It's very the energy is pretty big. It's happy. It's, you know, you you feel it. And when we move into a new house, or when I have to take down my painting, they hate it. They hit it. They're like, oh my God. And it feels so flat and so dull. And as soon as I put back the painting, it's like this entire universe that is opening and making the house vibrate differently and yeah. bring joy. And I've had a lot of people that tell me the same thing when I land my painting somewhere or they have it in the house and then they remove it. They feel a sense of it's not as much as when I have the painting on. Yeah. So I believe that those paintings carry some healing energy within themselves as well. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, just from this side of Zoom, I can already say that there's a really a very uh, calmness and, and, you know, on the paintings that I see in your background, it's it's really beautiful. Thank you. Um, I'm, 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 I'm so happy that Dominic told me about you, really. It's uh, wonderful. Your work is so wonderful. And you as a person as well. It's so inspiring to hear you talk. Thank you. I love Dominic. It was so funny. We met, uh, you know, through the world of painting. He's in London. I'm here, but we connected on the same value as well, which is spiritual and trying to bring light into the world. So that felt really, really good. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, that, you know, that we attract the people that um, in this way. But um, now tell me, Valerie, um, is uh, what is your wish now for the future? The wish for my wish for the future is for me to continue to grow as an artist and to be able to help other people grow and to express that through my work and for people to be able to receive that my work is about spiritual. It's about, you know, really trusting our guidance and to trust your heart and to follow your heart and find love and love in every form, you know. I try to express that love and that understanding within my work. And I hope it is a reminder for people to feel it and to seek it within themselves. Beautiful. What a beautiful wish. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Valerie, I I wish I can meet you in person one day. Oh, you have to come to LA. I will be so oh, happy. It would be so amazing to see your paintings in real. I mean, I can just imagine that there's so much more, you know, that if you stand in front of them. But and let me just ask you, do you tell people or do you let people discover things? Or do you, you know, or do you guide them to see what you painted? Yeah, I'm trying to guide them on some aspect. Like if you go on my website, you will see. Uh, when I do a painting, I usually have, I connect and I try to write into word what that painting is about. So especially like this one, uh, True North, you know, about letting go and surrender. So there's always with my painting, there's a little bit of a paragraph that kind of summarize what I have understood or what feels important to me into that painting. So a person can really not only see it, but recognize that there is something deeper 
also within it. And uh, so there's that guidance. And also doing those little musical animation, I feel that this is a way for me to really intend a little bit farther how the energy work and what's the feeling because everything is about energy it's emotion and energy that's my work okay so through the animation you can you can get that a little bit deeper and what i want to do actually is figure out the way to be able to offer life painting for people i have not yet fully determined which way i'm going to be able to do it but my goal is to evolve toward that where i can have life painting animated work and I would love to have a full exhibition on actually created, you know, like a, to be like the Van Gogh exhibition. Have you heard of that? Yeah. So that's what I really would like to do ultimately. I would love to have my, my world being in display, in the room, animated with music from other people and for you to enter this and to yeah. feel it on a deeper level. So that will be actually something I really would love to accomplish. Yeah. Well, I actually saw a dancer who, who, who choreographed a dance in that uh, Van Gogh museum and, and did it in that museum. You know, what amazing um, uh, things you can do with, when you combine all the different forms of art exactly. together. Because yeah. then you enter a universe in itself, yeah. you know. I would love to invite people into my universe and for them yeah. to go dwell deeper into that and to feel love and to feel growth and to experience of that wonderful energy that I get to experience within myself. So if I can yeah. reflect in the bigger world, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would love to come to your exhibition when you do it. And I would love Absolutely. to hear when it happens. Yes. And, yes. you know, it's been said here and um, uh, many of the things that's been said on this channel have come true so i'm sure it will wonderful yeah. i love yeah. it <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I'm we will honored we will, to have you there <laughs> so we will speak later again about it because i'm sure it will happen <laughs> it's, uh, it's a delight to meet you it's a delight talking with you and 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 hearing you talking about art as well and i love what you've been doing with your show i love the so much. i love of you being able to take the time to make every person understand what an artist is about and you know what is their universe it's it's wonderful it's a great thing that you're doing with your work thank you so much for me it's always the privilege like today you know what you're saying and so on so i learn a lot and i do believe that every every interview will go out in the world and the right person will hear it you know the person who needs to hear this what you are saying now will hear it i believe that very very strongly so um but have a wonderful afternoon there in la oh thank you and really it is wonderful that you're doing that really you know uh art is not art is Heart, heart can be a, um, alone when you're doing art mm -hmm. and being able to bring people all together to be able to hear and understand and opening that door so people can communicate and see what the world is made about is so precious. So thank you. It, thank you. Thank you. So, thank you for your kind words, really. I really appreciate that. Well, Valerie, we'll see each other, I think. I believe. I think so too yeah. as well. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I hope you come in LA. Please reach out to me. Yes, I will definitely. I've never been to America, but if, when I come, then I will definitely want to come and I want to stand in front of your paintings and experience yeah, that. Right. With you yeah. and be able to show you that. And, and I hope we'll stay in communication yes. even if, before you come here. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Okay, Thank Valerie. You. Have a lovely afternoon. You too. God bless you. Bye.